Lady Gaga takes flight. After fashioning outfits from mid and seashells, Lady Gaga's latest getup could double as a transportation device. The singer totalitated attendance at her art rave event in Brooklyn on Sunday, thrown to support her newest album, Art Pop, with a flying dress called Volantis. Created by Gaga's tech house team and studio Axel, the contraption is essentially a vehicle. Gaga explained to onlookers at the Brooklyn Navy Yard. She then climbed into the hovercraft escort dress, which bears the curvaceous style of a woman, and demonstrated how the outfits can propel an individual off the ground and into flight. We realized her potential for the world, Gaga said of Volantis on Sunday, according to MTV. Right now, she's priceless. The money thing is really not me. What we're trying to say is we can do anything. Imagine the possibilities. The pop star's art rave event also introduced the party goers to her new album, which officially arrived on Monday. Gaga has steadily previewed tracks from art pop following the release of her first single, A Pops, in August, but those in attendance at art rave got to see the singer perform some of the music live. Critics so far have been tepid about art pop, with consequences of sound, wondering in its review if we've come to expect too much of the mother monster. At her peak, her mishmash of European dance music, American pop, 80s Madonna, Glam Bowie, Hair Metal, Giorgio Moroder, and The Killers sounded both reverently referential and ahead of its time. But with our pop, Gaga has added only a few by the numbers modern elements to that initial formula. That refusal to experiment as widely as she once did with a sphere, and a pop star who's afraid ends up sounding like the once weird Lady Gaga that's on our top, boring and normal. USA Today, meanwhile, commended Gaga for her latest extravagant exploration of her own fame, but that doesn't mean it's consistently entertaining. Billboard agrees that our pop doesn't always give up to Gaga's ambition but thinks that the album's imperfections reflect the imperfections of its creator. When Gaga balances these skyward designs with dynamic songwriting, when she successfully mixes the art and with the pop, if you will, the results are often euphoric. Uh, like with the albums Dope and Gypsy being two examples, some of the more convoluted tracks butter out before Gaga, can carry her vision through, but even the weakest moments on our top are so carefully built and are densely imagined that one cannot help but admire the effort. <coughs> MTV EMAs Miley lights up on stage uh, for the 2013 MTV Europe Music Awards, Miley Cyrus was attention-grabbing as ever. The 20-year-old singer, who was a two-time performer during Sunday's ceremony in Amsterdam, Netherlands, uh, did what appeared to be a joint on stage during her acceptance speech for Best Video with Rocking Ball. Wearing a wine leather and a furry shirt, Cyrus carried a Chanel purse on stage with her as she accepted the award. Although her EMA wouldn't fit in the clutch, she did try to make a little more room by fishing out what looks like a spliff and then proceeded to smoke it. The poof wasn't shown during the EMA's airing on MTV's flagship channel, and Cyrus has been quiet about her action on Twitter. On Sunday night, she simply instructed her Twitter followers to stay in school and be kind, other than that, have fun. Regardless, Sarah's smoking was a slightly more risk act during a relatively tame event, which featured performances from Snoop Dogg, Icona Pop, The Killers, Kings of Lynn, and Bruno Mars. 
Yet given that this was an MTV event, the night wouldn't have been complete if it didn't include a little twerking. That came Corsi Cyrus, who, for the second time in three months, took the stage at an MTV award ceremony to perform her hit We Can't Stop. While some might have been expecting something just as scandalous as her now infamous set at the 20, 2013 MTV Video Music Award, Cyrus went in a different direction. Instead of a giant teddy bears, the 20-year-old singer was accompanied by alien figures dressed in head to toe black, and she herself wore a skin-tight knee-length silver dress rather than an old one side. Once, uh, Cyrus also swapped her VMA's dancing partner, Robin Thicke, for a little person in a black tech latex catsuit. The twerking stayed more or less the same and was completely absent from her later performance of Wrecking Ball. Cyrus was clearly one of the night's big girls. She even came out first ahead of the night's MC, Alvin Evans, Red Fool, but she didn't lay claim to the entire show. Thick followed Cyrus with a rendition of blurred lines that had a Camel from Australian rapper Iggy Azalea, and the night's best female award winner Katy Perry soon followed with a performance of um, Conditionally that found her suspended in the air. Like the singers who went before her, Perry fully embraced the night's theme of an out of this world space party, ending her performance in a glowing silver bodysuit. Throughout the event, held at Amsterdam's Lego Dome, Awards were handed out in obligatory categories such as Best Pop, Rock, and Alternatives, as well as EMA special hours such as Top Worldwide Act and World Stage. Eminem, one of the EMA's top nominees, took home the award for Best Hip Hop Act and was also named the Global Icon of the Year. In between awards and performances, Will Ferrell's Ron Burgundy made some comedic appearances showing just how much can go wrong and when his overly confident Newcastle character is unleashed in the Netherlands. This year's show marked the MNA's 20th anniversary. World Toilet Day aims to improve sanitation for 2.5 billion. <coughs> As many of the devastating stories and photos of typhoon wrecked Philippines show, one of the most pressing problems of Philippines' crisis is the lack of toilets and the collapse of water systems. Tacoban is <coughs> currently <coughs> facing a desperate lack of sustainable sanitation. UNIC, UNICEF, mm, among other organizations, has delivered portable toilets and hygiene supplies to Tabo Tacloban and is appealing for uh, 34 million US dollars to help the 4 million children affected by typhoon Haiti. The estimated amount of for six months of assistance. The lack of sustainable sanitation that the Tacloban region is suddenly facing is part of daily life for an astonishing astonishingly high percentage of the world's population. To throw a spotlight on the issue, the United Nations General Assembly declared this year will kick off the inaugural World Toilet Day on November 19th. We must break the taboos and make sanitation for all the global de development priority, said UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon in an official statement in Singapore last July. Some sobering facts about the world's lack of toilets, according to the United Nations. 2.5 billion people, one in three in the world, do not have a toilet or access to sustainable sanitation. Diarrheal diseases are the second most common cause of death in young children in developing countries. They kill more than HIV, AIDS, malaria, and the missiles combined. In many countries, girls stay home during 
menstruation days because of the absence of a safe place to change and clean themselves, and many drop out altogether. Due to the unglamorous nature of the subject matter, toilets tend to take the back seat when it comes to awareness and fundraising. We aim to make these hugely important issues relevant and sexy. Say Scarvey to the Asia representative for toilet packers, a nonprofit organization trying to give access to dignified sanitation to those without. For many westernized travelers, particularly for many women travelers, no matter how well seasoned, sanitation and access to clean toilets becomes a serious consideration when traveling. Says Chu. But for those without access to safe, clean, and private toilets and sanitation, it is more than an inconvenience. It can be life or death, says the toilet packers rep. One very dangerous time for a woman in a developing country, and one of the main times she may get sexually assaulted is when she is going to the washroom. When there is no toilet to go, she is vulnerable and exposed when she is going outdoors or in a public space, often late at night and away from people. From the two-story toilet-shaped toilet museum, the former home of a toilet-obsessed congressman and a major in South Korea, to weird and wacky toilet-themed restaurants. Yes, restaurants. From London to Beijing, check out our gallery for where to celebrate toilet to a、uh, World Toilet Day. World's twelve best shopping cities. It may be mid November, but in Hong Kong and other parts of the world, Christmas decorations are disturbingly already up. Beautifully packaged gifts, goodies are rolled out in stores. Snow scenes and reindeer take up residences in shopping malls, even in the southern hemisphere. The organized cross-off items on shopping list. The unorganized try to remember to remember to buy presents for loved ones. From a shopper's perspective, frequent traveling can be crippling. It can get worse in the holiday season, where Christ,、uh, Christmas dominates many people's calendars. Why buy something in one city when a trip to a better shopping city is coming up? To point po-、uh, to pinpoint which cities around the world de- deliver the most grat- gratifying, enjoyable shopping experiences. We consulted global experts such as fashion mechanizer, mechanizer firm Donger Creative Services, and Mary Bergfeld, senior spokesperson for Global Blue, <coughs> which publishes the Globe Shopper City Index. Now we judge cities in four areas, using a one to ten scoring scale for each category. One, getting around. Quality of public transportation, affordability, and availability of cabs, transport time. Value, bargain opportunities such as sale seasons and average prices. <coughs> Variety, number of available brands, range of shopping categories, quantity of upscale shops, department stores, boutique and vintage retailers, and market stalls. Experience. City beauty. Quality of window displays and shop decor, friendliness, friendliness and competence of clerks and service staff, dining and accommodation options. Then we charge into the bridge, town, several, getting around for value, seven variety for experience six total twenty one. Fact: South Korea has a serious addiction to to shopping, the most serious in the world, in fact. South Korea recorded more credit card trans- transactions per person than any other country in 2011, and all merchants are required by law to accept credit cards no matter how low the price. Yes, <coughs> that means the phrase "cash only, please" is technically illegal. This translates to the capital city bursting with shops of a dozen array of types and sizes. From LED fish-scale-studded luxury department stores to towering all-nighter shopping malls to trendy street carts, which all reflects the ever-changing hottest item of the moment. While foreign luxury goods tend to get a hefty markup, except at the airports, which boasts the first 
boost bidding, airport duty free stores, as well as cheap prices for most foreign brands. Local products tend to be cheap and chic. The city also has a good mix of the old and new, according to the Globe Shopper Index, which recommends that、uh, Seoul Folk Glee Market, <coughs> Nam Diamonds Market, and Jongdong Market for a shopping spree of more traditional goods. Whip up the plastic at Seoul's trendiest late night shopping mall, do that. Uh, and the、uh, Lord Department Store flash flagship. Eleven, <coughs> Milan, getting around five, Melu five, variety four, experience eight, total twenty two. Home to many of fashion's biggest names such as Prada, Dolce and Gabbana, and Versace. It's little wonder this beautiful city is full of glamorous locals and shops that cater to them. One of the most beautiful, if expensive, shopping experiences can be found at Quadrilatero della Moda, or Rectangle of Gold, which many fashion insiders consider is the mo- world's most important fashion district. The interwoven pedestrian streets are lined with jewelers, boutiques, and lifestyle showrooms that make for great window shopping. While the boutiques cater to the alligator bag and black card toting crowd, luckily for bargain shoppers, yesterday's sales are tossed aside so fast. Outlets and sales racks are always full. And lifesaver, the land's best known and longest established outlet. Has three floors of goods discounted up to sixty percent, all organized by size and color. No one back home needs to know it was bought at an outlet mall. Milan fashions are always months ahead of the trends elsewhere. Whip up the plastic at Quadrilatero di Oro, and、uh, the life saver. Ten Madrid. Getting around six, <coughs> value six, variety four, experience seven, total twenty three. Madrid mostly gets out credit cards from simply for being Madrid. So <coughs> <coughs> well, it's worth now noting that the <coughs> city ranks third for best prices on general luxury items in the Globe Shopper Index. The weekend while our friends with statistics. So what about the goods? When searching for items unique to Madrid, we fell in love with Capas Cecina. Established in 1901, the shop sells traditional wool and cotton velvet capes for men and women. The clientele includes Pierce Brosnan and Hilary Clinton. Picasso was reportedly buried in his cape from the store. Casa de Diego. Stock souvenir worthy fans, mantelless ornamental combs, and even castanets. But what we really wanted to take home was one of these work of art statement umbrellas with engraved silver handle. Nine Dubai, United Arab Emirates, getting around six, value six, variety eight, experience four, total twenty four. A miniature kingdom unto itself. The Dubai Mall is the world's largest mall in total area, with theme parks, waterfall, dancing fountains, Olympic-sized ice rink, aquarium, indoor zoo, and malls within the mall, such as the galleries Leviat from France and the first blooming dolls outside the United States. If that isn't enough cash registers. There is also the Mall of the Emirates, with the first indoor ski resort in the Middle East. The Dubai Mall also hosts the annual Dubai Shopping Festival in January and February. We assume it's called a festival because they have fireworks, but it's really about package deals and discounts, up to seven per- seventy percent on electronics, clothing, and popular items. The 2014 festival starts January to second, and runs until February second. Vienna, getting around six, value eight, 
Variety 3 experienced a total of 25. With some of the earliest closing hours of all the cities on the Globe Shopper Index, Vienna is tricky for shopping. <coughs> total bus kill, right? But it also has some of the best values in Europe, coming in second on the index for total cost of luxury items. At the century's old Nash Marks, shoppers can eat their way along 1.5 kilometers of 120 food vendors, flogging local eats from desert pancakes and crepe like palace chinke to exotic cheeses and seafood. A Vienna stylish hotel boom. During Christmas season, they can browse through glass bubbles and handcrafted handcrafted ornaments while sipping on glue At Vienna's venerable and gloriously the Christmas market, the platonic idea of a fairy tale Christmas. Let's go for an extra experience point in an eight place fetish. Buenos Aires, get here on six, value eight, variety six, experience seven, total twenty seven. Sexy Argentine dance moves plus sexy Argentine Tina climate equal sexy Argentina shopping. Yes, the formula sort of sometimes works like that, especially when you're stocking high quality litter at affordable prices. Established in Buenos Aires in 1952, Mocassin's Guido sells desert shoes for men. Today, there are three locations in Buenos Aires. Chinin Mingrido is a street with leather shops that are also offering tailoring services. Murillo 666 is perhaps the best known, but about four, 50 more surround it. A handy surface of shops come haggle time. And 6. Hong Kong. Getting around 10. Value 5. Variety 6. Experience 7. Total 28. Hong Kong's shop clerks are borderline stalkers in a good way. If you don't know where you're going, They'll follow you around till you find it. If you don't know what you want, they'll tell you. But the obsessive help can come in handy, especially if it leads to the world-class bargain. According to Global Shopper CT6 Index Research, 87% of Hong Kong tourists shop and 76% of shopping tourists expressed above average satisfaction on value for money in 2011. Small wonder that Hong Kong also claims the title of best Asian shopping city in the de- index. Um, five. Paris. <coughs> Getting it wrong. Six. Value six. Variety six. Experience nine. Total twenty nine. The best shops in Paris don't sell clothes. They sell lifestyles. Whimsical concepts shop merchy stocks a selection of designer goods that fall under the category of utterly useless but absolutely desirable, such as art deco big light switches. It's housed in an airy and vaguely bucolic space that includes a second hand bookshop, florist, and cafe. In addition to the Anegoro Saint Line, Mercy stocks a burial by Stella McCartney and uh, YSL, often with deep discounts. Best of Paris Shopping, the Street Market Guide. Called it offers reduced price on designer goods. Then again, if you are like us, whatever you save on the fancy dress might be spent on styling necessities like a bottle of bling H2O, which comes in a frottest glass bottle decorated with Swarovski crystals. It's available for about... <coughs> U.S. $50 at the drum downstairs water bar, which has more than 70 brands of bottled water. And of course, there's the holy trinity <coughs> of Parisian department stores. Le Bon Marché dates to the 1850s. It's famed for a monster section of gourmet food. 
Print Camps has the world's largest beauty department. This year, the store is partnering with Christian Deer for an exclusive line. Four, Cola Lumper. Getting one, six, value, ten. Variety, eight, experience, six, total, thirty. Sometimes bigger reality is better. That's the prevailing shopper's ethic in Kuala Lumpur. Anyway, three of the world's ten largest malls are in KL, including one Utma, and world's the world's fourth largest mall with more than six hundred and fifty shops, Asia's largest indoor rock climbing facility, massive rooftop garden with. Five hundred species of exotic plants in indoor rainforests with koi ponds and freshwater aquarium. KL's impressive score comes from its winning combination of high quality shopping, affordable prices, and reliable sales, which can stretch for several months. This year's year-end sale for November tenth to January first is just one doozy for an example. Third, London. Getting around six, value six, variety ten, experience nine, total thirty one. London prices can destroy your world to life, and that's just a cat fare to get to the shopping areas. But get over the stickers shop, and you'll probably agree with its global shopper index ranking as top European shopping city, and its Donger Group not as the world's top fashion shopping destination. The globe. Shopper City Index notes that London outstrips all the other European cities in both the quality of shops and availability of international and local brands. London shopping at its best is both eclectical and international. Case in point: Department Store Liberty. Liberty may have a Tudor-style exterior and fireplaces, but its stock in contemporary and cool, encompassing. In-house designer stationery, clever kitchen accessories to upstage your neighbors, and clothes from a select pool of local and international designers. Two, Tokyo, getting around eight, value eight, variety nine, experience nine, total thirty-four. The ultimate Tokyo shopping experience is a department store. Walk into one, and you'll be met like a royal. Global chain Ice Ten has its mammoth flagship store in Shinjuku. Eight separate buildings stretch along two blocks. Ice Ten has English, Chinese, and Korean-speaking staff and a personalized interpretation service, as well as shopping consultants who will advise you everything from shoes to fish, all available through reservation. A foodie heaven. The basement has dainty Japanese tea, bento boxes, as well as French pastries and macarons. When shopping for clothes, you can take a break from the international luxury brands on stock to try on some kimonos. <laughs> Tokyo's shopping is also surprisingly affordable, according to the Globe Shopper City Index. With Asia's fourth cheapest shopping and the cheapest average price for a Canon. E O S six hundred D body. Read, best Tokyo shopping streets. All this too net tam. No worries, Tokyo still gets its freak on. Shops like the seven story men's pop life sex department store sell creative toys such as you've never seen, and we prefer not to describe in front of our impressionable intern. First one, New York. Getting around eight, value seven, variety ten, experience ten, total thirty-five. In what other city do you see a toddler running around in perfectly watching Tory Burch ballet flats and tiny purses, or be able to go on curated vintage shopping sprees? This town has so much diversity in style and interpretation of quick. Chick says New York-based fashion editor and stylist Stella Lee. For something you can't simply Google up, Lee recommends vintage showroom Real Vintage for anyone who is visiting and in search of shopping gem unique to NYC. <coughs> you can find <coughs> pieces from every possible 
era spanning the entire last century of fashion history and from a wide range of design houses including the likes of Galenos, Dier, Givenchy, Ingaro, P. P Pierre Cardin, Aussie Clark, and more, safely. If you had the stamina to get at the undoubtedly hour of the for the city sample sales stamp this, New York Magazine has a comprehensive guide.